How's it going YouTube? DM Tombstone Belts back here again with a brand new video. As you can see, I am still putting an ice pack on my shoulder. Um, just got an MRI done yesterday and uh, just waiting the news on from my doctor to see how messed up it is. And But yet, I really hope it's not been much at all. Maybe I just need to let it rest for a little bit till it's fully healed. But today, if you've seen from my uh, Instagram and from X, from the photos I posted there, I met, today I went out and met Hulk Hogan. And, because uh, he was actually promoting his new line of beer, Real American Beer. It's a light beer. And I was going to get him to sign one of my belts, the Hogan 86, but, uh, yeah, he wasn't signing any belts. He was only signing, oops. I'm gonna try to make sure the. Come on, damn camera. There we are. Yeah, he wasn't signing any belts. He was only signing the beer cases. So I bought myself a case of this stuff. And uh, you can see here it's got the picture of him, Hulk Hogan holding the American flag. And it's saying, product serving the real American. Can spirit real American beer? It's a light beer, brewed in the USA. I think by in Chicago. Has a phrase of his right here. America at its America's at its best when united. And if there's one thing we can all agree on, it's the simple pleasure of sharing a beer. And that's why we started Real American Beer. To bring people together, one beer at a time, Hulk Hogan. So I met him, he signed the case, I got a picture of him, you've seen on my videos. And I just opened up this can and I'm about to give it a try. And with the smell of it, it smells like, it, I, I've, I've tried beer before, I mean I've tasted a ton, lots of different beers. And before I take a sip of it, well, as I smell it, it smells like a bud, like you open up a can of Budweiser or a Miller Lite. Yeah, like a Miller Lite or a Budweiser. But before I take a sip, I want to tell you guys, I am above 21, so please drink responsibly, especially for if you, especially if you are uh, 20 year, 21 years of age or older. I recommend it to this try this beer if you are at drinking age. So. Drink responsibly, and here we go. Here, cheers, brothers. Yeah, not a bad beer. I mean, I drink it. I mean, maybe not drink it much as often because I'm not much into beers. But you know, it's okay. Yeah. I mean, I got a case of 12, so this is just one. I got 11 more of them. Maybe give one to my brother to try because he wouldn't mind trying his beer. But, yeah. As well, maybe save a can. It's collectible. I mean, why not? Something for the display case of mine. Yeah, he was a good dude, and I say, done a good job. Say, so congrats, Hulk Hogan, on your new beer line. Not bad. Not bad at all. And I'm glad I got a signature, so now I got a signature from Hulk Hogan now. So now I'm Hulk Hogan down, and I actually tried one of his beers. That's a good thing. Next thing off the list would probably be to meet Stone Cold and try one of his Broken Skull IPAs. Again, I don't drink much of beers. I'm more of a whiskey type of guy. Then again, I don't drink as often, but, you know, not a bad beer. I'll give him that. So congrats, Hogan. This one's for you. Yeah, so that's basically it. And oh, yeah, I also forgot to mention I'm gonna have something coming in the mail. It definitely will be coming in. Not from a guy I complained about before because I haven't heard him respond to me yet. He hasn't really responded to me for almost a, over a week now. And obviously, I want to mention it. You know what? I'm gonna say screw it and mention his name because if you hear about him, his name is Muhammad Gulam. G U L. A M Gulam. Never go for that guy, because apparently, it seems to me he's been not as responsive 
when you contact him. He's so sl it seems to me his process has been so slow. Cause yeah, I've been over two weeks, three weeks now since I paid him to give me the a belt, and he hasn't responded to me. He hasn't even said a word about where the belt is or if he's shipping it out. And he's also even been talking about the fact that he hasn't he hasn't got the payment because of all of his PayPal, and he asked me to give him more money from doing a. Uh, Western Union and I told him no I don't do Western unions and all that that's a bunch of bull and of course I try to be nice and I tell him look straight up I'm gonna put you on blast if you're just gonna try to scam me out of my money because the truth is I was giving you a chance and it seems to me you're blowing it and for my fans and for many of those that are part of the belt groups on Facebook I never want to even mention you because a straight up if you're gonna have the best quality belt out there I've ever seen probably gonna even be better than the Rana Buta or all those other people that I bought belts from you can earn quality to be the best but the fact of the the services you're doing it's making what makes you lose a customer the fact that you're not as responsive responsive in in your in the messages you don't keep up with your customers, and the fact is that most customers are gonna have to wait over a whole damn month for their belt when you could, when you promised them they could be within weeks. Shame on you, straight up. You are a pathetic piece of shit, and I'm surprised that you even still have a business the way you treat your customers. To treat people that want to buy a belt from you, and this is how you treat them. And the fact is, you're asking for more money because apparently. The PayPal that he puts in for you to pay him for, it's not even his real PayPal. It's someone else's because that guy talked to me. He was supposed to be his best friend. And yet they two have been dealing with arguments. And now it seems to me, I don't even know if I'm going to get my belt or not. But I'll tell you one thing. If he's going to ask me to go for him again, I'm going to just block him and delete him. So I tell you guys, for my, for my fans that want to go looking for belts for people that are like that obviously bootleggers but or the bootleg route do not go to Muhammad Ghulam that guy is a waste of time and money because I know he's gonna screw you over so do not go to him go to Rana Buta. go to everyone else that I mentioned <clears throat> in the previous videos of when I sell bootleg belts or go to AB Knives Ruta is the best one. And even shiny titles I've learned from Instagram. Go to those guys. They will have probably better quality belts. And you, you can stay and you can keep up to par with them. Asking for updates and all that just fine. And do not go to this guy. Because simple fact, I think he's just nothing but an asshole. So I say this to you, Glom. Next time... Keep your word and don't be a dick about it. So the last payment I want to give to Gulam is this. There's your payment in full. Sorry about all that guys. It's just a little bit of anger but then again I don't want to put this guy on blast because anyway he seems like he's just scamming people out of their money. But anyway hope you guys enjoy this video. You guys are getting lucky day getting three videos in one week. Maybe even more depending on if I want to do another video tomorrow or not. But anyway, don't forget to leave a like on this video. Don't forget to share. If you haven't subscribed, please do, guys. Comment below what you guys think. And as well, for those that are of the age limit to drink, tell me if you guys like to have a try at Real American Beer. If you got American Beer or Real American Beer at a nearby store that sells it, give it a try. And tell me what you guys think in the comments below. To me, it's all right. I won't drink it much, but it's all right. As well, follow me on my like Instagram at day me ninety six, and as well on X at the Tombstone ninety six, on the Tombstone belts. And I'll see you guys in the next video.